Okay, here we are today with the Nerf N-Strike Modulus Barrel Strike. If you want to know more about this blaster, its features, functions, and what it comes with, make sure to head on over to the overview video up on my channel. But what we care most about right now are the ranges. So, going to be a two-part test, and it's going to be a little different. Um, so, first we're going to test it by itself as a blaster, because it functions completely by itself as a blaster. And then we're going to do a range test where I'm not actually firing the barrel strike, and you'll see what I mean when we get to that point. But here we go. I don't know who would ever actually shoulder it like this. I'm just using it for consistency purposes. <laughs> it's kind of silly. There's our first four fired off. Okay. Second four fired off, and I'll just load the diagonals for the last two. Smart AR is good for that. One and a two. So there are ten shots fired off. No adverse weather conditions to speak of today. And so, let's see what we got here. Got our lowest couple shots sitting just under, well, the lower one is just under and that one is just above 25 feet. Working our way up, got not too bad of a spread, um, considering these are elite darts. And so, I'm gonna give the middle 33 to 34 feet. And our top shot, that one a little further. There we go. Bring that one into the tape, and that one is just between 43 and 44. So for an attachment blaster, not too bad. Let's uh, get set up with that other bit of the test. Okay, and back again with the barrel strike. Now, this is gonna be an interesting bit of the range test because as I said, we're doing a range test of a blaster by firing another blaster. And that is because this is a barrel extension blaster, I wanted to know if, if you're using it as a barrel extension, does it screw up the ranges on the blaster you've put it on? And so, to test that, we've got our Recon Mark II, and I'm filming this immediately following filming the Recon Mark II's range test. So, that's your baseline, so go to that video to see what the Recon Mark II does without it. But here we go, let's see how it performs as a barrel extension. So. Here we go. Okay. Um, casual observation. And again, go check out the Recon Mark II range test video. Um, which if I'm smart, I'll put up before this one and not after this one. But okay, well, as you can see, we've got just an absurdly close cluster now. Um, so let's, let's see what the actual numbers are. So our lowest shot here is 30 feet and the Recon Mark II with no barrel extension did 29 if I'm remembering correctly. Then we've got most of our shots, most of our shots right here lining up with the middle of 35 to 36 feet. So that's lower than we were getting on the middle for no barrel extension, but that's just so like, cause that's the whole point is if you're trying to aim at something, you need to know exactly what it's gonna do. And that's just incredibly consistent. 10 feet shorter, but you actually know that it's gonna do that instead of maybe, maybe not. And here's our top two. And this top one is sitting just above 41 feet. So we can say as a barrel extension, it definitely does knock some range off of the blaster you put it on, but it seems, at least in practice, to greatly... You're losing range to gain consistency, and you'll have to decide for yourself, but in my opinion, that's a nice trade-off. Anyway, that is your range test for the Modulus Barrel Strike. As always, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, definitely let me know what blaster you want to see next. Do my best to get that out for you. But as always, thanks for watching.